not even a, not even like a minute after I finished the recording of the Terry Bogard Street Fighter 6 trailer, SNK drops a City of the Wolves trailer, and I got a little spoiled of who might show up in it and the release date from a picture, but what? I'm just gonna, I, I, I'm already spoiled as to who's in it. I don't know if there's gonna be any more characters shown, but I wanna see this. SNK. An epic tale of wolves who hunger for battle. South Town, a city of wild ambition. So, this is the Chilling official trailer. Where legends are made. Here, vengeful wolves fought against fate and won. But fate okay. has no finale. Legends live on. Now, 25 years later. Are you ready to rock the city once more? Yeah. Oh shit. The action kicks off with 22 characters. 22 characters. Familiar faces and new blood. Plus five DLC fighters and season pass one. Okay. Introducing the Rev System, a special offensive tool set you can use. So we're getting 22 characters in launch. That's pretty good, right? I I had ex I think I had predicted. I think around 20 to 24, so that's right in between. The moment the that's battle it. begins, fight at full throttle and supercharge the excitement. Gain access to rev blows and strength SPG. bars when your health gauge enters your selected SPG zone. The classic series mechanics are back in full force. Okay. And then some. And then some. Right. Perform flashy combos at the push of a button with a smart style control scheme. When you're ready to take on the world, jump online with crossplay and roll back netcode. Oh my you can god. Your skills against auto generated AI clones. Auto generated AI opponents. That's pretty crazy. Strive for supremacy. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Episodes in sub South RPG? Mode RPG? Level up your fighter, equip skills, and dominate the opposition on your way to the top. What? Customize characters your way. What? We're getting custom color shit. With That's. Color edit, oh my god. And more. What? Uh, 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 okay. Groove to your favorite Fatal Fury songs in the jukebox. Create playlists and customize background music too. Fates intertwine on the streets of Southtown in the struggle for Geese's legacy. Rev it up! Your legend begins now! What the Fatal fuck? Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves. Coming April 24th, 2025. Pre April 24th. Now. Available as a special edition bundle, featuring the base game in Season Pass 1. Pre-order- Thank you as- what the fuck? your copy for a bonus Fatal Fury 2 Terry DLC costume and three days of early access. Well, uh, there's so much here. So, are you telling me this little thing right here is something else? Okay, hold on. 22 characters. There's so much I have to talk about. My trailer, I guess. He's got a new design as well, apparently. Okay, so she's back. No surprises. True Queen of Fighters. Want a little taste of Shiranui Fire? I like it. Wow. This out uh, this stage, this outfit. Oh, we're getting an outfit too. Okay. I'm assuming that's just a quick trailer. I'm assuming we're getting a more in-depth trailer at some point. How many characters do we have right now? Hold on. So much information. I'm have information overload right now from everything. Characters. Where's characters? Characters. Characters. Meet the characters. Okay, hold on. This ain't 20. This is 10, right here. Rock, Terry, 
So we have 10 right here. 11 uh, if we count my. So that's 11 plus... Okay, so 11. And then there's, I think... Who else is not shown yet? I think we sh we I think if that's the case, we've seen a few characters, or there's a few characters to be announced, right? Um, but going with the key art, there's so there's Kane, there's Andy, and there's Joe. That's three. So that gets us up to fourteen. There is the unannounced Hope of Tomorrow. That puts us up to fifteen. That would give us seven more characters that have not been announced, meaning. And you know what, how many months is until, is it eight months? I think it's eight, yeah, I think that checks out. Less than eight months, because we're at the 20th. So, eight months from now, we have Fatal Fury, City of the Wolves, right? Now, I have things to do, but I'm going to still real quickly pull it back in slow motion. Let's, let's analyze this a bit. The legends live on, right? Terry, Brock... So, characters, I think he said, the announcer said, like, 24. You know, he said 22. So, there's seven characters we have yet to to see. So, that's one every month, right? And then there's DLC. Southtown. So, episodes of Southtown. There's specific things for each character, too. Hold on. Two Southtown, character selection, showcase, minigames. Okay, I'm assuming you'll go. There'll be mini games you do across it, but I'm assuming once you play those mini games, you'll just have free access to them, probably for like YouTube content and just for fun. Holy shit! Hold on, General City and Second South, so we can go to South Town and Second South Town. It looks like Harbor Freeway. Do we get a full map of this too? Are these so? These look like character fights, right? These like what did. Box Reaper, Boss Street Stars, fight in a regular match. So RPG mode. Play, connect to the internet and update the game. Is this like a regular, like, regularly updated thing? Bossford? Are these just like NPCs as well? Like this looks like Bugs. Oh, is this like, is it Bugs and Hopper? Is, is that their names? The... Uh, this, this is crazy. I forgot about this. My brain. We're getting custom colors back. Like it's fucking KOF 13. And it's like even crazier than KOF 13. It's like almost like Soul Calibur 6 levels of customization. Where you have all these colors you can do. There's a texture. Dude, the fucking textures. I'm gonna do some crazy shit with Otaru, man. There's the texture colors. This? I'm gonna do some crazy colors with Kane as well. Music settings. Having a jukebox back. They're bringing this back from like KOF 15. That is fantastic, right? I'm assuming we're getting a, a normal arcade mode. But I'm glad SNK is doing something for a story mode. This, while it may not be a, uh, like a fucking world tour mode, I don't expect that from SNK with the size of their, their team, right? They don't have like the same size a team Capcom gets, right? And this is, this, it was already a huge risk for Capcom to do that. And this game was probably already being worked on before Street Fighter VI ever came out, right? So you gotta take all those things into account. But this is still fantastic, right? They're still doing a lot right here, right? This, this, it kind of reminds me of World of Light from Smash Bros. World of Light was kind of stupid. You're actually fighting like some characters here and there's some other shit. And we don't even know what else is here. There's gonna be mini games. Right, this is just a little look at it, and it looks like it'll be up, uh, regularly updated because you have to connect to the internet to do it, so there might be challenges and shit. This is going to be crazy. This custom colors thing, this is what I'm hype about. I've been waiting for a custom color editor to come back to it, like a KOF game or something like that since 13. I was hoping KOF 15 would have it, but they're doing it here, and damn, they're doing shit right. Look at this. The fucking leopard print Hotaru pants. I can get straight up like, dude, I could do my, my Garo color, but I could make it even uglier for Hotaru. I could make it like extra 70s ugly. It'll be awesome. Uh, this, let's take a look at this. This outfit is fantastic. I love how it looks in this engine, and I love the real bout hat that he has going. I'm definitely gonna order the special edition. I ordered the special edition of KOI 15. I'm definitely gonna do it here. Base game is 
sixty dollars. S and K did not get fucking greedy and do the seventy dollar route like the fucking assholes at Another Realm and at Namco. Those people think they can just get away with fucking yeah. Let's uh, let's charge them seventy dollars for a fucking fighting game. Like damn, I'm so excited. I'm supposed to participate in a Garo tournament uh, in five days from now. So. I guess I'll tell you how that goes. Um, I gotta practice some more. But holy shit. Release date and everything right here. SNK's laying their dig out on the table right now. We're about to like, we're about to gobble it up because it's fantastic. So, Mai is back. Um, and they're bringing about her, back her, her classic outfit, right? True Queen of Fighters. And she has a new outfit. And this outfit's good. I like it. It's kind of like her, her casual fit. She still has the fan. New fire burns. She's got some more interesting stuff, right? This trailer's definitely more cinematic. Oh, this stage is from old real bad as well I'm just realizing Richard what well right, we just got a character D confirmed back there hold on yeah we have uh, or Bob man I hope Bob can make it maybe we'll get Richard Myers someday I'm still holding out hope for Sakaku we don't know who that stage for the we don't know who the uh, the fucking what do you call it we don't know the stage for the um, we don't know who the carnival stage is for and Raiden might have gotten deconfirmed from the stage on Tizak but we might be getting Sokaku and that's why I'm holding out hope because he had a stage He's, he had a stage where he's at that amusement park, though it was broken down in a decrepit state. But he was there, you know? I'm holding out, like, like so much hope. The cope, it's hope, and it's cope, you know? I'm holding out so much hope and cope that I'm drowning in it, right? But, you know, we might get him. Also, he was in the stage for, like, the SNK land in KOF 2002 UM. So, that's three, that's like two examples of amusement park things he's been in and associated with. As I said, the cope and the hope is, is unbelievable. But I will take it. Terry's hat's back there, by the way. I like the stage a lot. The stages in this game look fucking incredible. I don't know. Like, the stages in KOF 15 are already looking good. Yeah. This outfit looks good. I think it's just from KOF 15, though. Because usually her feet are out in uh, the. What do you call it? Games. Damn, they gave her ass physics. Um, sorry, what? Uh, this is crazy. Usually your feet are out in the Fatal Fury games, is what I was trying to say. But, she has like her ninja socks on here. Alright, Andy trailer win, Joe trailer win. We know they're gonna be here. Whoa. Okay. Uh, so, so far, game looking great. I don't have much to say about my... We knew she was coming back. I think the new design's great. I think that SNK putting their foot down and actually giving her a new design is good. It's kind of basic, basic as it seems because it doesn't really have any, like, flowing bits. We're still getting our classic outfit. So, you know... 
I could I I don't really care. Plus, this might be a confirmation that we're getting outfit twos for characters. I know we haven't seen much of that, but we're seeing Terry and we're seeing Mai with her classic one. Maybe S and K might actually finally dip their toes into it again. Or maybe it'll be like a KOF fifteen situation where we only see like a costume. But I'm hoping I'm holding out hope. I'm holding out hope that we get secondary costumes for um for these characters, for all of them, and that we get, like, actual stuff. Like, I'm hoping this pre-order costume is just, like, a pre-order bonus. And then maybe that, uh, that Terry's second outfit would be, like, his OG Fatal Fury 1 outfit, where he actually has, like, the sleeves. So, you know, again, hope and cope, drowning in it. This game looks great, though. I already have, like, three day one mains with Kane, Otaru, and, uh, I almost said Grant, uh, Vox Reaper. Those characters are, like, um, I'm already covered there, right? And we still have seven more characters, plus four DLC characters to see, but I don't think we're gonna see all four of them at once. I think we'll see, like, the first two. But, I think that, um... I'm pretty sure our first DLC characters are going to be, like, I think we're going to get, like, Luke or Ryu or something. It's, like, one of the first ones or, like, second ones. But DLC-wise, no idea. Uh, SNK could literally do anything, and I'm all for it. Anyway, um, I'm super excited. I think that... SNK and Capcom definitely coordinated to have these launch at, like, the same fucking time. Um, but yeah. Um. I've got two videos, three videos to edit today. And, uh, you know, no rest for, rest for the weary. I'm definitely gonna put some more love and attention into these ones. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited. Right? I'm super excited. I haven't felt this feeling since we got, like, the... The trailer for KOI 15's, like, official trailer. Um... Back during the Shattering, right? This is hype. We know when the game's coming out. We have a date. I can pre-order it. At any time. And... Uh, I'm excited. I'm super excited. Like... This is going to be something else, man. Custom colors coming back. Um, the There's a little bit of a story mode, right? It's not just arcade mode. So that's awesome that SNK's pushing forward, right? This is like, I wouldn't say this is baby steps. I'd say this is beyond baby steps. I'd say this is like, we're walking now. We're not running yet. Like, Capcom's, Capcom's running marathons right now with their story mode, right? And, you know, Mortal Kombat is just kind of, like, sprinting. But we're walking right now. We might be running. We might be. We have yet to see it, right? Like, if it's an RPG thing, like they said, it should be fun. Like, I'm interested to see how this story mode actually is. And I'm, I'm interested in playing the mini games. I might have to do a little mini uh, Fatal Fury, like, I'd say Legacy, but I'm not going to go back and play all of them. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll check out all of them. Like, I can play any of the real bout games, and any of I can play Garo, I can play um, whatever else. But, yeah. For now, I'm going to go. Tell me if I missed anything from either of these. I don't think I did, but I'm super excited. Tell me what you guys are most excited about. Tell me who you think those last seven characters are going to be in the comments down below. And uh, tell me who you think the DLC characters might be. Anyway, please leave a like. Check out the Street Fighter 6 videos I have on my channel. 
check out the Street Fighter Six Terry reaction if you haven't already. You're probably already you're probably coming from there to be honest. And um, yeah, if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below. Seventies Hotaru uh, Cheetah Print, and then uh, subscribe. Anyway, thank you. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.